Hi everyone. So I this was already fairly fairly clean. So pretty much always going to stay like that. I did take the time to clean a little bit in here. As you can see, there's still some watermarks. <clears throat> some right here as well. And then this was the one that had a lot. You can still see them. So, and then there's some streaks there that I noticed. So if it will require probably like a daily application for up to like, I don't know, say like, you know, 30 days or something. But this is going to be like a continuation, a forever continuation of cleaning, maintaining, treating the glass to prevent the water, hard water spots from developing on the glass. So, <clears throat> maybe like, you know, the half and half vinegar and Dawn dish soap, maybe just make enough in a small cup, something tiny, just enough for the inside. Just enough in here. Whoa, look at that. It looks horrendous in here and I guess in here it, for some reason it really cleared out look at that that particular spot but um I did come back in here last night and I showered so yes yeah, that soap scum and the bar soap <laughs> See, one, one, the other one's gone. This, it came out really clean. I just showered and I never dried it. And here, it needs like a tiny little toothbrush to really like get in there. I, did, I didn't do it, I should have done it. And then this one's not clearing up regardless of what I do. So, I don't know. And then this is all like corroded and stuff. But, yeah, so like, <clears throat> maybe like, coming in here, like, you know, an hour before your shower every single day will probably, you know, get this more and more and more and more over time gradually you know it'll just remove all that stuff yeah see now that i noticed like i noticed this is a white background and over here there's some darks like the dark door the cabinets so it's easier to see the <clears throat> the hard water spots Oh yeah, and this door is the one with the handle. The handle on the outside is the one that's the worst. So, yeah, there's scrub, 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 scrub. Oh yeah, look at that. It went all inside my fingernails. I'm just joking, I was mixing concrete. But, yeah, like, I tried <clears throat> getting in here. Oh, these rubber things are pretty cool, by the way. Just. Although they're not, like, super rubberish or rubbery. 
They're kind of like a hard plastic. But it's a shock resistor. Or resistant. Thing in me jigger. Uh, and then here is still like. Oh my god my back. And here is so bad. Look at that. Like, I don't even know what this stuff is. That looks like a little bubble forming or something. Like a living organism. Yeah, so that's... That's definitely a bummer. I think what needed to be done from the very start... Is some silicone should have been applied in here somehow. I don't know. Honestly, like... Maybe... Like something like this type of material needs to be applied in here. Because where's the hard water spots in this? I mean, if there's hard water spots on the glass like this... I mean, most certainly there's, there's got to be some on here. Look at that. This is all soap scum. Oh shit, it is. So, yeah, I definitely need to come in here and scrub this more. Oh my god, just noise that. Yeah, so. And then that. Clear silicone. So who knows what the hell is in here. If this were, were to be pried off or removed. Probably a bunch of germs in there. That's why, like, even in between the walls, in between the walls, it's just studs, wood, insulation, bugs get in from the bottom, in here, into the walls, from the outside, even. So, who knows what the fuck's inside these walls as well. So the same thing here, there's that opening. And yeah, it should just be like a solid piece, you know, but anyway, so that's my results with the chemicals. I mean, from out here, it, looks, it doesn't look that bad. And it actually looks pretty good, but you could tell this one looks way better. This glass here, as opposed to this one. See that? But, I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. But, it's not really, if, if you did or didn't do a good job, it's really removing the hard water spots. And, you know, continuing that process because no matter who it is out there these hard water spots are always going to develop see how they made this and they cut it right there boom right there the the cuts that way this one could rest on top of that one Look at that, how do we clean that in there? This one is clean. Why? Because there's more water over here, that's why. That's what I'm thinking. That's my, um, hypothesis.
and over here on the top. Look at that, even seal it. These maggots. No wonder there's mold and shit. There's no proper seal in that. <sighs> Folgers. Look at the lights as well. See how like dusty they are? Alright, I turned these off. It was way too bright in here for me. So I was, I was like, what the fuck? We don't need all this fucking light. And then look at this. It fucking opens the opposite direction. And this is not my vibrator, guys. This is my motherfucking face scrub. Facial scrubbers. Yeah, I don't know why they made it that way. But yeah, I'm not really trying to talk shit. Because I want to be able to... I want to be able to go into a home and clean the showers... And I don't want to travel like 30 minutes out for them to call me and be like, hey, the shower's not really that clean. So I'm going to have to like pack everything, drive all the way back over there, unpack everything, and then try to clean it again. And by, and the next day, you know, you could have a customer. So, yeah, so like, that's not very professional, you know? And, um... And, yeah, so... That's why I'm trying to... Come up with... Something that will work. But... I'm thinking... I, I believe in this stuff. I believe in the... Dawn dish soap. And... The white distilled vinegar and like the salt powder stuff. Oh, that's all the stuff from from the cleaning job. Steel wool. Oh yeah, the steel wool even. Or some type of scrubbing pad. And you know, stuff like that. But I think people should make like a little bottle like this and sell it like in a package as a treatment. So maybe I could have seven of them sold as one or, you know, like this in a box. And it's saying, you know, apply this to your shower door, you know, Two hours before a shower, before cleaning it every single day. That way, that or you can create your own fucking paste. Well, you know, create your own paste and your own mixture. And do that every single day for like 30 days just to see what happens. Because honestly, it's better right now. It's way better than it was yesterday, right? 
So it was worth the two dollars for the Dawn. This is like five bucks. And I've been using a lot for my watch. And today I scrubbed a lot of it and then I put new solution in here so it can soak for like another 24 hours or something. Um, but yeah, like people, I would recommend for you guys to, oh, not the, don't even look at this. That's for the, for the floor. But this stuff, and then maybe the steel wool, obviously the steel wool, and then, you know, some type of, um, sand beads. So, like white distilled vinegar, no, not white distilled vinegar, um, uh, like axe or Ajax. Axe or Ajax, Ajax or Barkeeper's Friend, and all these other ones, and then fucking just apply it. See, because up here it looks really nice, right? This is what you guys want. That's what everyone wants. And that's because the glass doesn't have that much contact with the fucking water. And then, but we come back down here halfway, midpoint. And we start seeing those harder water spots. And then we go all the way to the bottom. So, definitely, yeah, definitely applying this stuff, you know, because the instructions, the video say to do it for one hour with this mixtures, um, solution. In the solution, you know? So anyway, so that makes sure for an hour, like, what would happen if you did it for like, every single day? I mean, will they start clearing up more and more? And I think that would be better than being disappointed or to settle for less like this. I mean, look at that. There's still a lot of hard water spots in that. And it should be looking... See, that's more clear, right? There's that little spot right there. But even so, it's fucking horrible. I wonder how this spot here got so fucking clean. I remember I was sitting right here doing something. But it wasn't down here. I was doing it right here. Maybe I did scrub right there. I don't fucking know. And if so, maybe it was just that the little beads in the Ajax. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to give it another shot at this with the Ajax. And really like scrub one area. And oh, and another thing is that, see like right now, it looks really clean, right? But if you wet it, if you wet this, they'll kind of like disappear. Oh, not really. What the fuck? Yesterday, 
I didn't even see none of this. So, there must be some form of new soap scum. Yeah, see? It's the new soap scum. From the bar soap I used yesterday. See, but even so, this right here, you know, that's how it looked yesterday. Boom, right? It looks so clean. And everything... It, Everything's wet, everything looks shiny, and I was deceived. It looked kind of like this. And I was like, what the fuck? That shit looks really nice, right? And then this morning, like that air sign, or air sound effect. Like wrong. See? The difference here. But when it dries, that's when you face reality. See, there's still... It's either that or maybe when you get into this state. Because look at that. There's still some in there. But what if these fucking people are putting like a... A clear lacquer for like wood, like wood shiner. That's what I'm thinking that they're fucking doing. And my socks got all wet now. <clears throat> but fuck it. All for the video, right? But see that? That's the way it should be looking. But, you know, you guys did see some hard water spots, so some some of that needs to get, you know, picked up. It needs more scrubbing. It needs more of the chemical applied on it. It's just when it gets dried where it looks the worst. And, I mean, I can dry... A little section again, a small area in here, and we'll be facing and dealing with the same problem. See that already? You can see it right here. See that dried area? Because over here you can see a little bit, but it's not like highly detailed like in this area right here. Right here, see how it completely dried? So maybe what they're doing is they're applying like that seal. Like even on this, sometimes you'll see like like a little tiny film. Maybe they're like barely damping it and then going like this. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt if you have another spare or like someone's throwing away a free fucking window or shower door. It'd be great to like experiment on that. This here is the... This is a... Little mirror I bought at the Dollar Tree. I've been using it to like shave and stuff. And I basically just, you know, clamp it on there like that. And then I just shave my head, you know, with this. But this, I was thinking for an invention, it'll be good like if someone were to like make it where it's, it could be like f flappable. Or whatever, so I can go up. And then if you need it. Boom. It would like, I don't know, somehow it will go up or down. But that's just wishful thinking. Probably, I don't know. Um, or even on that side, so the glass won't get wet that much. 
But yeah, look at that. So there's still a lot for me to do. And I'm really trying to master this for my own house. And whenever I do get my own house where I can take care of it and get all this stuff out, if, if it's ever a problem and if it ever arises. And maybe so I could do it for, for people to restore their glass and to help people online like we are all trying to give each other counsel um, you know about how to keep all this stuff clean that's so why there's a bunch of youtube videos right and there's some paint anyways so yeah, I was really, really disappointed this morning when I got up. But not really though. Because now it made me think about the 30 day application thing. And I guess it would be great if you guys divide, if you guys got one of this, one of these, one gallon, and then divide it into seven days. Five do five dollars for this. And say you use one of these a day. That's only seven dollars for seven of these. Seven seventy after taxes, something like that. So like eight dollars round up, and like six dollars. How much is that? Six. No eight plus three. No eight plus six. Two. What remains? Four. Fourteen. Fourteen dollars. For a whole week. It's either that. You spend fourteen dollars. One week. Maybe another. Fourteen the other week. And the next week. And the next week. How much does that add up to? Twenty-eight. And twenty-eight. Is... Six fifty six dollars. So it's better to you for you to try the fifty six dollars first before calling a company and spending like two hundred and fifty to restore this at least easily. Right? Especially I mean if you go to a home you're trying to get this restored. You're trying to flip the home or whatever. Then you really want this to be clean. You don't want them to come. You don't want them coming <clears throat> and seeing all this shit. Like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Who wants to buy this shit? You know, that type of mentality. You know, you want them to come and to see this. Looking flawless. Like this. So they could feel like this shit was just applied and installed. And obviously scrubbing all this off. And maybe keeping it an extra layer of paint. Adding some silicone all the way to the top. Because some people are tall. I'm not tall. But some people are taller than I am. So they can probably see that like nothing. Like me, I'm a short dude. Like right here, that's probably like seven feet. I'm five feet. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just more scrubbing. It's not it's not the end of the world, people. Like Edison. He didn't try nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine times and just give up. He kept trying, he kept 
trying different experiments, different experiment, experiment after experiment, experiment after experiment, till he got it fucking right. And look at, look what the fuck we have. And this is the moment where I shut up and then I put a sound effect where people are clapping. Yay! For Edison. Thank God for Edison, who created and invented the light bulb. Yup, yup, yup. Thank God for him. Because our whole fucking lives revolve around him. And guess what? If we, if it was dark like this, boom. Thank God for Edison for the light bulb. Look at that. It's inside the motherfucking phone. I even wiped all this today. Today I did it. So you guys can see where it's dried and then this section is still wet inside. And see how it's starting to get more and more revealed. So that's not good, you know, we have to really figure that shit out. See, like this, it doesn't really work. Oh, look at that, it's a trick. It's a trick to this shit. No light, and then look at it, and examine. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this is the section where I dried inside. See that? See, so that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe we got like some, like a lacquer. Maybe it would just stay like that. Maybe it would just stay like the shininess. And I mean, if you have to do that, if you have to do that to restore it, and the lacquer costs you like 20 bucks, it might be worth it, but then later on you might have to deal with scrubbing the lacquer off to reapply some new lacquer, but with the steel wool and this, and then, um, you know, the abrasive pad, whatever, and then you just doing a little small layer, it might come off easily, so it might be worth it. I don't know. You guys have to do your own experiments because I'm just learning and talking about the shit that I'm learning through YouTube.